Thank him. That's your song for this season. from your heart, you're going to say with a loud voice. You can't pray this kind of prayer in a gentle manner. You're going to say in the name of Jesus. Can you make it louder? Say in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to bury my glory. I command you now catch fire. Pray that prayer. Any power assigned Budgeted to cover my glory, to bury it. Oh, is it shining? Let's come after her. I command you wherever you are. Don't pray this kind of prayer quietly. Take authority. I command it to catch fire. Wherever it is. In the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to cover my glory. Cover the glory of my children. Cover the glory of this family. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over you. Every kind of altar that is not of God, I command it to break into pieces. Command everywhere they mention my name, the Holy Ghost shall answer for me. In the name of Jesus, Oh, Satara, ba 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 ba, Kereba Kasatara. The voice of the stranger I will never follow. In the name of Jesus, I will never obey the commands of the demonic world. In the name of Jesus, when they say I should do something, my spirit will say no. In the name of Jesus, now I command every arrow on my inside die right now. Any food of idols I've eaten, even in my dream, die right now. In the name of Jesus, any power assigned, any mark, any covenant to bury my glory. In the name of Jesus, I command you to catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. You're going to pray from your inside. Say in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command. I command. That, that there's an outside expression. Of the impact of God's life. In the name of Jesus. There's an outside expression. From my in, in, inner spirit. In the name of Jesus. There's an outside expression. From my inner spirit. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus kills every blockade of hell in the name of Jesus. Anything that does not want me to express the life of God in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus kills you now in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Spread the sister inside. In the name of Jesus, there's an outside expression from my inner man. Any blockade of hell in the name of Jesus, 
the blood of Jesus silences you, kills you right now. In the name of Jesus, I will never remain the same. I'm different in my community, in my generation, in the name of Jesus. Anything affecting people of my generation from hell will not affect me because I'm born of God. And whoever is born of God overcomes the world. In the name of Jesus, any system, any government, any sickness, any poverty, any decision, any policy, I overcome you. In the name of Jesus, I overcome you. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare that you have everything for your assignment on earth. The finance, the health, the relationship, the wisdom, I have it in the name of Jesus. I command, let there be an outside expression from the inner spirit in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus, any blockade, anywhere through clothes, through food, I command the blood of Jesus to deal with it. I think right, I talk right, I will not lose my mind. The Holy Ghost has incubated my brain. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. Very important. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Tap your neighbor, tell your neighbor you are doing well. Let's go higher right now. You are going to pray, you see, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I agree with what the blood says about me. Can you make it louder? Can you make it louder? In the name of Jesus, things contrary to the word. You can't go in my life. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. I agree with what the blood says. What the blood is saying is what the word says. Is what the will of God says. Anything contrary to the word, you will not grow in me. In the name of Jesus, you will not develop in me. I decree and I declare, I forbid any growth, any kind of de development that is not of God. The tree that my father has not planted is uprooted from the roots in the name of Jesus. Let discernment begin to grow in me. Let sensitivity in the spirit begin to grow. Everything that is of God begin to develop, begin to grow in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. You're going to make it louder, say in the name of Jesus. The impact of this anniversary shall be my life forever. Pray that prayer as you are led. The impact of this anniversary shall be my life forever. It should not be momentary. I will not just be emotional. The impact shall be my life forever. I will never recover. In the name of Jesus, the prophecy is spoken. Are you looking or praying? The prophecy is spoken. Shall be apparent upon my family, upon myself. In the name of Jesus, shall be apparent in my church. Shall be apparent upon my pastor. It, it will never recover. We will never recover. It shall be there for life. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray in tongues.
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hands and give thanks. Don't mumble words. Thank God for specific things. That's how to get results. Give glory to Him for specific things. Glory. Glory. Glory to the Lamb. to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb. Sing it again. Lift your hands and sing it again. is listening to me right now you lost some money in business on your in your in your business recently and everything went down and you are thinking I can't start the year with this thus hear the Lord I heard a turnaround yeah. where you did not put your mind things will come good I, I hear good news from afar in the name of Jesus Will I not hear your testimony? I will hear your testimony. In the name of Jesus. This is the season that you rejoice again. I said, this is the season that you rejoice again. Bible says, at the scent of water, the tree that was cut down will blossom again. Now I command, begin to blossom again. Begin to blossom again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's somebody listening to me. Your hair is falling off. Your hair is falling off at a young age. I command that infirmity to end right now. To cease right now. In the name of Jesus. Apart from seeing few strands on your comb, your hair will not fall off again. So shall it be. Now I command that hallucination at night to end right now. Amen. What they're trying to cast at you will not come to pass. Amen. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Every tongue that rose against you in judgment today we condemn. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything that wants you to cry this year has failed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I say it has failed. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a mighty hand of be seated. After you are born again, you have to grow. It's not enough to just be born again. You must grow. And when we talk about growth, we're not just talking about, oh, you are known in your church. You are a leader. Or they give the microphone to pray. No, that's not growth. Growth is when you deliberately work on 
entering into what God has planned for you. It doesn't happen by accident. Growth is not a gift. That, oh, ah, he's growing. I'm just waiting upon God. No, it's something you decide. That from today, things will change. In Matthew 13, you know the story of a good man that sowed good seed in his field. And while men slept, his enemies sowed tars. In verse 37 of Matthew 13, then is, he answered and said to them, because they asked, after everybody is gone, the disciples asked, tell us the mystery of the tars and the good seed. So he answered them and he said to them, he who sowed the good seed is the son of man. In other words, I'm the one that created my own people, created the world. When he said the son of man, he meant himself. The field is the world that we live in. The good seed, don't forget, the good seeds are the sons of the kingdom. So the sons of the kingdom are actually planted. You are the planting of the Lord. And if there's any tree that will become what God or the planter wants it to be, the tree has to grow. The sons of the kingdom are the good seeds. But the tars are the sons of the wicked one. So there are two sons. Remember, they're not only talking about males. They're talking about the progenitor, or let me say the offspring of somebody. Say, I'm a son of God. Even if you're a lady, you're a son of God. There's therefore no more male nor female in the kingdom of God. So there are sons of the wicked one. They are the ones some Christians want to copy. They want to say what they say. They want to do what they do. When they do things on the internet, they want to copy them. They don't understand that they are, they are they, see, they were deliberately planted by the enemy. Some of them will do things and no repercussion. Try it. <laughs> you will see the result instantly. God will not leave you. Why? You are planted to do some things on the face of the earth. In verse 39, the Bible says, The enemy who sowed the tars is the devil. He's not missing what? The harvest is at the end of the age. The reapers are the angels. If you have time, read it. But I want to show you that you are a seed, a good seed, planted by God. In Mark chapter 4, verse 30, Mark 4, 30, the Bible says, and he said, to what shall we liken the kingdom of God? Again, the kingdom of God is not a place. You can say, here it is, there it is. Is within you. The best way to understand the kingdom is to look at the word kingdom, king, and dumb. The way the king operates in his domain. His constitution, the way he operates, is the kingdom of God. It's not a place. Kingdom of heaven is a place. But the kingdom of God is the way God does what he does. His modus vivendi. Is modus operandi. So how shall we liken the way God operates? If he has a kingdom, how did he have his sons? The Bible says, or oh, what parable, parabole, I've explained that to you, to put a natural truth to explain a spiritual reality. Which parabole shall we use to picture? So he was trying to paint a picture. The kingdom of God is not actually a mustard seed. He was just trying to paint a picture. It is like a mustard seed, which when it is sown in the ground, is smaller than all the seeds of the earth. So you may be small today. Your faith can be small. Your prayer may be small. Oh, they say, oh, she gave her life to Christ yesterday. Oh, he's trying to grow. Is just a baby in Christ. You can be small. But the Bible says, when it is sown, now God has planted you already. That's why you're here on earth. And when you were born again, 
Something sparked on your inside and the life of God came alive on your inside. But the Bible says in verse 32, when it is sown, what does it do? It grows up. It can never be what it's supposed to be until it grows up. But when it grows up, what happens? It becomes greater, even though it was small. Come on, talk to me. Inside it, there's a potential to be great. So God has done his part. He sold you. You need to grow up. When it, it grows up, becomes greater than all the trees of the earth and shoots out large branches. I pray for you. You shall be large. Yeah. You will not be small. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. When you see a child of God that remains small, you see somebody that has refused to grow. Because by your DNA, you should be small. Let me say this to you. This will deliver you from thinking like unbelievers. God did not make the earth with unbelievers in mind. I'm not saying God hates people. He made the earth with you in mind. That's why when unbelievers have some certain things, because the world will love their own, they never talk. You see somebody of 30 years old, 35, uh, riding a jet, nobody will talk. But once you are, that's good seed sown. And you see Christians talking too. Because these are things that your children will laugh at you. So, okay, because somebody came with a jet, so, so what? <laughs> Daddy, did you? Were you part of them? It will now be, it will be strange. When cars came to the earth, uh, came to Nigeria, only a few people had them. You had to be a graduate to ride cars. So when you were coming, when you were coming out of the university in those days, by your greed, you knew that no, it was four four you would get. My father told me, you knew what you would get. So when you see people with five four, you knew the kind of greed they had, their level in the civil service. Now we laugh. It was a big deal to them. Those were cars our parents bought and they went to the village to show their parents. And everybody came out in the village. Wake up. God made the earth with the born again Christians in mind. How do I know? In Genesis 1.26, I'm coming back here. He said, let us make man in our image and according to our likeness and let them have dominion. The man that should have dominion in fact, look at the Amplified, Amplified of 26. Let us make mankind in our image and after our likeness and let them have complete authority. The being that is supposed to have complete authority is the being after his image and after his likeness, not the fallen man. Wake up. I will never apologize for being a success. Never. It's not scriptural to steal. It's not scriptural to kill. But if God blesses you, he's not saying, no, as a Christian, no, no, never. It's part of your evangelism too. Are you following what I'm saying? That's the world wants you to, because, listen, the Gentiles seek after these things. When they know you have it, they come to you. Say, Gentiles shall come to the brightness of your eyes. You can't go down. The right, you must rise. I will never be what people think. No. I will be what the word says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love Isaiah 60 verse, verse 2. Isaiah 60 verse 2. It said, But the Lord will arise over you. And his glory will be seen. Go and study glory. Doxa. Kabot. It means reality. It will be seen. The world hates it when it's seen. <laughs> so I'm reading to you Mark chapter 4, verse 32. Tap your neighbor and say, I have to grow. I have to. But when it is sown, it grows up and becomes a greater than all the herbs and shoots out large, large branches. This is where I'm going. So that the birds of the air may nest under its shade. I pray for you. You are a blessing. Amen. 
He said to Abraham, I will bless you and make you a blessing. From today, you become a shield. Amen. You become a shade. Amen. You are not a problem. Amen. You are not a welfare project. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. all the birds of the air, they will come under you and nest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You become a shade. Amen. You become a shield. Amen. You become like your father. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What is the Lord expecting us to do? In Job 22, 21. I wish I could read from the beginning. Job 22, 21. Now acquaint yourself with him. The study of the word. You see, when you're praying in tongues, you, the way people are exercising, the way they exercise their physical body, you're exercising your spirit, man. Karaba, soto. Put a chair down. Lock the door. You will not die. Open it, say, after one hour. I'm not opening this door. Nothing, you may not feel anything. You know, people feel, when I speak into, I should feel good pimples. No, we are not in the feeling business. We know. After a while, your spirit man will jack up. Keep doing it. You don't build muscles by doing push-up once. Keep doing it. You will discover. You know, where Moses was before God, for 40 days and 40 nights, he didn't know that his face was shiny like the sun. He just approached people. They said, ah, cover your face. He had to put a veil, but we are with an open face because we're not in the Old Testament. Behold it, the glory of the Lord. Bible says we looked at him and were lightened and were not ashamed. Everyone here shall carry light. Amen. Everyone here shall carry light. Amen. The glory of the Lord shall be seen upon you. What do you do? Now acquaint yourself with him. Maybe you're not here, you're watching me on Kusa TV or you're listening through the internet. Acquaint yourself with him and be at peace. And be at peace. All those, you said this, I didn't say it. Stop it. Be at peace. Hey, you did this. Every conviction of the Holy Spirit, be at peace. Your spirit should not Enter any corruption. Be at peace. Thereby, good will come to you. Now, some of you can think, oh, Job is an Old Testament book. No, it's the first book to be written in the Bible. Job was the richest in the East. So, Bible is telling us what he does to stand out. This is not the law of Moses. Wake up. Say after me, I shall acquaint myself with the word and peace will come to me. Hallelujah. Verse 22. The Bible says in verse 22, receive, please, instruction from his mouth. Some of you don't read your Bible. After this service, when you have a break, look into the word. You can start by reading a chapter by day. By day. Don't worry if you don't understand it. Because line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. As time goes on, the Holy Ghost begins to join scriptures together. Just keep reading. You know, when I'm preparing Simon, the Holy Ghost just tells me, oh, sons of the kingdom. Then it's possible I, I, I don't remember where I saw it. But I know, I know that I've read it before. Then I, I Google it. Oh, oh it's here. Uh, they, it puts things together. He puts things together. It can happen to you too. I was encouraging someone yesterday. You know, I wanted to, to be a worker in my fellowship. You had to write an exam. But the person who said the exam is my friend. She's been here once in a while. She's been here like three times. And I said to her, I said, Uche, please, please, I beg you. Don't put any scripture there. You know, she told me, how can I set exams, Christian exams, and not require you to go scriptures? I didn't know any scripture. You know the story. How that there was a fracas in school. As I passed the Onecha Bridge, I told myself, I will not cross this place back until I develop myself. Nobody has a gift for it. I didn't go to any Bible school. Wake up. You can be it. 
receive please instruction from his mouth. Stop attending church and gathering information and not do, not do them. Whoever hears this word and does them is wise. When you know these things, happy are you, blessed are you when you do them, not when you know them. It doesn't matter how many people you tell. It doesn't matter if you're a preacher, you're a pastor. I see people teach giving, they don't give. I see people teach prayer, they don't pray. I see people teach walking in love, they don't walk in love. Let me tell you, anybody that claims to be releasing faith and they're not walking in love, they're lying to you because faith works by love. If you're the type that, you know, I said something yesterday, can you hold someone down and move forward? Never. So please receive instruction from his mouth. Please. If you want good to come to you, please receive instruction. Job 22, 22. Please receive instruction from his mouth. Lay Lay up his words. Where? In your heart. Meditation. Meditation. Quickly. I'm out of time. Verse 23. If you return to the Almighty, today, somebody, as you return, everything will turn. Everything will turn. You will be built up. My God. It takes a process because you don't build in one day. It takes a process, but you'll be built up. If you remove iniquity far from your tents, remember what I shared with you yesterday, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Philippians 4.13. Verse 24, the Bible says, then finance. You begin to, money will be nothing to you because God will build you up. Next verse, 25. The Bible says, yes, the earth Almighty shall be your gold. Because you put your mind on, on God and God begins to supply your need. Hallelujah. 26. Then you will have your delight in the Almighty and lift up your face to God. You know, the prayers of the wicked is an abomination. Okay? I love verse 28. 28 says, You shall also decree a thing or declare a thing and it shall be established for you. Now, amen starts being your mouth. <laughs> Listen to me. When Papa said, I caused that sickness, I knew what was happening. Pastor Kike knew. We both looked at each other. We said, huh, it has happened. That's all he, need, he needed to say. Samuel grew in the favor of God and man, so much so that everything he said came to pass. From today, as you decree, it shall be established. Amen. Light will shine on your way. Amen. I say light will shine on your way. Amen. In Hosea 14, I can do that. I can read the old thing. Read the old thing when you get home. In Hosea 14, I want to read from verse 4 and declare it over you. In the name of Jesus, God will heal your backsliding. Amen. I will love them freely. God will love you freely. Amen. In the name of Jesus, look at verse 5, everybody. God will love you freely. Yeah. I will be like the dew to Israel. Put your name there. It will be like a dew to your, to your, to your, to your life. No dryness. No emptiness. In the name of Jesus. You will grow like the lily. Can that amen be, be louder? Can it be faith filled? And lengthen his root like Lebanon. Your root shall be lengthened. You will not be dry. Your source shall be supplied. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your branches shall spread. Amen. I say your branches shall spread. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your beauty shall be like an olive tree. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And your fragrance like Lebanon. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those who dwell under a shadow shall return. Anything you've lost, it shall come back to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you will be revived like green. Amen. I say you'll be revived like green. Amen. You will grow like a vine. Amen. Your scent shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Lift up your hands and give thanks. Don't just form church. Thank God that those words will come to pass. Speedily, quickly. 
and without one.